Good afternoon, everyone. Before proceeding, please allow me to first pay my respect in my mother tongue. Kwebi Ejuol Sakarata, Evan Pewin and Wewe, Otar Pewich, Apone Melet, Mone Poros, Epato Chieti, Oya Ejuol Sakarata, Missy, Kapi, Owaula, Ban Kuburen, Samatai Kaulu Port, Kwebi Sabin Kubur Resola, Kubur Limbo, O Kalangan. Begit saya saya, isowar, patuan kai, kuburan, ini lah sama cai kau lukot, tuan boleh nuau, ile ile, ini kalah koko, kerap soko, enpon tinggi, patuan nuau lagi, sabun mar kekko, nana lengko, punang tinggi koko, itu kalau nuau, um sabun mar laba lap kiki koros. Nang sabun mata ay balisyo and yes, may chia pumotso o government. Hindi mo nawaw o tuon tuon pin unsa magkitin pipiyan sabun mata radio pan nang tuon pin o bilang lang mas tikin tuon pin. Hindi mo nawaw o may kitin kubre o yung tap. So, before we proceed, it's proper that we always say prayer. So with that, and on behalf of this chapter, Catherine, this afternoon, may I ask Deacon Ioannis to please Say a word of prayer. Shoka. Ray, got you low. Got you dear, and for good. Jai Satu. Iya. Kalau letak, kalau lang, kalau lepas, boy kau. Anton Pogata Serio Peila Tolan Kutor Pei Sarawi Sap Sarawi Kon Jesus Say Today You shall love the Lord your God God with your heart and your soul when with all your mind. This is a verse great commandment. And the second is like you should love your neighbor as yourself. Nilang-langin sa na may sarawin 
Так вот так И коучу. Мы сапальманки тейтайла намайрак леко онки сапальма армасаул. И патруан токи. Шоупана эн марайн эн малулу пэйен рамут. Рэкоти сяру валиятат. О коти сяп лангиян. Рэкоти так пэллауи гэн кит сяпэн мар луэйсу. Имэт. Мэй патруан токи нэ ва. The long long and at count Christmas. Makin yang kami o ngay sarawi. Katin uyuya ko at melen meton. Ang tiyang aramis o ay patapat o kuwalat. The long long sa ngay sarawi. Thank you, uh, Deacon Ioannis. <coughs> Next item on our agenda is the introduction of today's event. So please allow me. In very short, His Excellency President Silma, Vice President Pali, the Governor of Old Bay State, Lieutenant Governor, the First Ladies of our Nation and Old Bay State Government, the second lady of our nation and Bombay State government, Speaker of the Amazon Congress, Speaker of the Bombay State Legislature, Chief Justice of Bombay Government, Honorable Cabinets, Officials of our very own national government and Bombay State government, ladies, gentlemen, and friends that are here this afternoon for this national and state function. Today, we all came here for a reason, and that is the Ephesian President, Vice President, State Visit for the government on behalf of the people of Ponte. Today marks the first State Visit of the President and the Vice President of the Ephesian. They will be visiting the other sister states as well. So the government, go governor, I'm sorry, and the lieutenant governor of Bonpe, with other state government branches, all together welcome the president and his entourage. With that being said, let us proceed according to our program. Next item on our agenda is a welcoming remark. So on behalf of this gathering, may I ask, and please let us all welcome the Lieutenant Governor of Old Bay State, the Honorable Francisco L. Ioannis. Ranana 
बोलो Let us keep glory and honor to our Almighty Father for the breath of life. For his grace in our lives. And most especially <coughs> for his continuous mercy, protection, and kindness. Upon his leaders, whom I have been trusted and trusted to serve his people, Christian Wishkes. President of the FSM, His Excellency Wesley Simena, Vice President Mr. Palik, Everson First Lady, Second Lady, State First Lady, and my second lady. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, accomplish my master. Allow me to respect recognition to all traditional leaders of our nation. Ministerial Churches leaders, members of our joint leadership, leadership at our levels and leaders at all corners. On behalf of the State Governor, Speaker, Chief Justice, and whole Pompey leaders, Leadership. Welcome. His Excellency and your esteemed delegation, our union today speaks for you. This union echoes continued value in our brother, in service and leadership, solitary, in our mission for our people. Reinforcement for our continued hope and vision for leadership of one people, one common, one people, one common To be better, stronger, unified, transparent, accountability, and peaceful. Once again, welcome, and I thank you once more for this gesture of unity and reinforcement remind them that to lead is to serve. So let's open up the new chapter and work together as a nation. I thank you, Mr. President, Vice President, Speaker, and everybody today. Kalangan Group
thank you very much, uh, Lieutenant Governor. May I ask that we put our hands together again for the Lieutenant Our next uh, special address, please allow me and join me in welcoming the speaker of the Pompey State Legislature. or before I go on, please allow me to express my respect in our traditional language, <coughs> our mother tongue. He am kay wali kapeng lak tang ko brene ni lak kay wali don malen wab wau lak tang ko brene isoko isunan kay metalani. So now I'm going to know. Kaun ko sa pulmar, dikant ko, nanalang ko, nan kaniye ko. Lapalap, kay ti koros, nan kaliyan siya, omocho, upapun. Prakkat, upatyan, katiwot, pwede, tirakasampal kan, no ye chansa. Iyam, My respect to His Excellency President Wesley Simna, First Lady Madame Anseli Simna, Honorable Vice Speaker Aaron Balik, and Second Lady Madame Adelita Balik. If anyone wants to Madam Kapinan Pompey, the Honorable Rita Luger, Wauniki Karyaon Kapina, the Honorable Francis Coyoanis, Wauniki Siong Kapung Napalak, Nelson Chosen, O Sabungso, A Wau, O Speaker and Congress, Esmond Moses. A Jumalwao for respect on Karusian, Melon, ladies and gentlemen of Tri Karus Mem, Kat the Patrobeno was accepted. It is indeed an honor and a privilege for me to stand before such an august assembly of the leaders of our nation and our state on behalf of the members of the tenth legislature, we wish to join the colleagues in the state administration and with the people of Pond Bay, whom we represent, in extending to you, President Simina, to you, Vice President Palik, and to you, FSM Congress Speaker Moses. Our sincerest and most hearty congratulations on your election to serve in the highest offices of our nation. I want to join Lieutenant Governor by saying, Rananim Lenu O Kaiseleria, and welcome to the state of Hongdae. We truly appreciate the courtesy, the time, and the effort that you have taken upon yourself to come to meet with us and to share with us your visions for the future. For quite some time, the year 2023 has been heralded as both a year of reckoning 
and for the promises of our people. With the signing of the compact of agreement just a few short days ago, the challenges of 2023 are now upon us. These challenges will be formidable, but I firmly believe that all of us working closely together, we can achieve what we once thought to be impossible. Those of us in the Bombe State Government are eagerly looking forward to the opportunity to work hand in hand with your new national administration and your newly organized Congress, as well with the leadership of other three states of the nation, so that each and every one of us can share in the successes that will come for the greater good of all our people. <coughs> Thank you very much, Speaker. Let us please give him again a big round of applause. Our next special address, please allow me and join me in welcoming the Speaker of the Federated States of Migration, the Honorable Esmond Moses. Alangan. Mowe is a very good name. Owner of some home to you. Wownuki, Sanangan and Waymathalini. Wownuki, Sanangan and Waysonu. Wownuki, Sanangan. Sabri Marlikant, Nana left. Onangan. Regatum Kukure, in Bato and Dolan and Little Monsagata, the Bato and White. Mr. President, First Lady. Governor, First Lady, Vice President, Second Lady, Lieutenant Governor, Second Lady, Speaker of the Potent Pompey State Legislature, Senator, Madam Chair of the Rio Alfonso, Vice Speaker, Floor Leader, and members of the 10th Pompey State Legislature. I was told that I was going to be given a role in the opportunity and the opportunity to speak at this event today. And first, I would like to thank President Simna for the opportunity to have a state visit by yourself and the Vice President. I also would like to thank Governor Oliver, Lieutenant Governor, Speaker, and the Pompey State leadership for allowing and being able to host our President of the Nation. It's been a while since we've had a state visit by a President of the Federated States of Micronesia. It's about time we did. The country is going to be facing a lot of changes that is to come. Hopefully most of them will be good. But as Speaker said, there will be need the need for future collaboration, better collaboration between the national government, the states, and the local governments. The time has come. It's been several weeks since the LSM has signed the agreements to the proposed limited compact that will begin next year, hopefully, and end in the year 2044. It seems like a long time that the last limited compact went by very quickly, and it seemed like we were not, una we were not able to fully utilize what was given to us and the opportunities that presented itself when we signed the amended second compact. Hopefully this time 
And I ask States and President Sinema, Vice President, Governor and Lieutenant Governor, and the rest of government, that we will be able to work together to move forward, hopefully develop in our priorities that we have set forth. I believe that the governor will be communicating with the, or the president will be communicating with the governor in the near future on some updates we need to our development plans. Hopefully it will be shared pretty soon. But the reason why I accepted to speak today was to really show my appreciation on behalf of Congress for President's willingness to have a state visit so early in his administration and thank the Kobe State Governor and the state leadership for accepting President Sinema's willingness to have a state visit and with the limited time that they had, I hear there are festive celebrations to be held after this, so I won't keep you long and thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Speaker Moses. Let us again put our hands together for Mr. Speaker. Our next uh, speaker is our very own, the Governor of Pompey State, the Honorable Reed B. Oliver. So please allow me and join me in welcoming the Governor of Pompey State to the podium. So, <laughs> Kosa kosa kan koros dan pagi ini ak Oluiso Suriso Okorusi, Etungal Sakaratan Wang, dan Bill Toper, sahul matai uliya ber momot sa koros dan mui kongte. Pada dong masak set Etungal Wala dan kuburan senan ken materni, pada dong Wang lagi senan ken mui sobu. But one more, the Lagalaban chorus, the Conan, eight more power will cut up. You put a row, you put a fire row, run any animation. His Excellency, President Seminar, Mr. Vice President Pollock. First Lady, Second Lady of the National Government. My respect to Speaker of Congress, 23rd Congress of the FSM, Speaker of the 10th Legislature of Ponte State. Respect to Honorable Lieutenant Governor of Ponte, Chief Justice of Ponte State. Mrs. Moses, Senator Atello, Alfonso, First Lady of Pompey, First Lady of Chuk, Second Lady of Pompey. Members of the Pompey State Legislature, members of the President Cabinet, everyone that I should pay my respect to this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is with great pride and honor that we gather here today to extend a warm and heartfelt welcome to His Excellency <coughs> President Simina and Honorable Vice President Balik. I'd like to also welcome and join the speaker and the Lieutenant Governor of Pompey. Welcome to the 23rd Speaker of the Congress, General Moses, and everyone with the President this afternoon. 
this auspicious occasion marks the first state visit of President Our Excellency President Sibina and Vice President Pali. And it is a moment of great significance for our nation and a source of pride for the people of Ponte, the host of the Everson National Government. We are truly privileged to have you here at the seat of Ponte State Government, Pelapa. Your visit reflects a strong and enduring bond that has existed between the state and the national government since the creation of this nation. This momentous occasion holds a great promise and offers a unique opportunity to further strengthen the ties that bind us. Under the leadership of His Excellency President Simina and Honorable Vice President Palik, we anticipate a new chapter in our shared commitment of peace, unity, and liberty. We affirm once again as the preamble to the to the Edison Constitution so eloquently states, our common wish to live together in peace and harmony, to preserve the heritage of the past, and to protect the promise of the future. His Excellency President Simina, Honorable Vice President Pollock, we are very honored to welcome you to the first state visit of your administration. Let us remember the power of unity and the strength that lies within our collective efforts. Together, we can overcome any obstacle, build resilience, community, communities, and create better future for generations to come. We wish you a successful and a prosperous administration. Thank you for your visit. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Governor. May I ask that we again please give him a big round of applause. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, comes the time of the state visit. Please allow me and join me in welcoming our very own, the President of the Federated States of Micronesia, His Excellency, Wesley W. Sinha. It's supposed to be a celebratory visit, <laughs> right? So let's all be smart, smiling, uh, and be happy. I sure hope so. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Let me open by acknowledging and giving thanks to our Lord for our lives and for this day, which without Him would not have happened. And may I recognize and pay my respect to His Own Anchor of Millennium, Mr. John Matov, Mr. His Own Anchor of Wu, Helen Joseph, Governor Oliver, and First Lady Oliver, Lieutenant Governor Johannes, and Miss Lily Jane Tippen. Speaker Yamakuchi and Mrs. Yamakuchi, Chief Justice Bennett, Vice President Pali and Mrs. Pali, Speaker Moses and Mrs. Moses, and of course my boss, First Lady Anselm, <laughs> and members of the Palm Bay State Legislature, other state and national officials, friends, our citizens, ladies and gentlemen.
I don't pay warm greetings of Renanim and Kasleria to everyone assembled here this afternoon. Let me also recognize and pay my respect to the owners and custodians of the land on which we gather, particularly the traditional leaders and elders of Bombay Vice President Palik and I are delighted to embark on our first state visit to the leadership and people of Bombay State, being the host and seat of our national capital. And I want to thank you for the warm welcome and hospitalities accorded to us and members of our delegation since our arrival at the state capital. Let me assure you that this visit comes from here, from our hearts. And that's why we wanted to make sure this happened as early as possible in our administration. <clears throat> I am also pleased that Speaker Moses and Senator Abel Alfonso of our conference are able to join us, which gives added meaning and significance to this national state visit. I believe it is also a strong demonstration of the unity and solidarity by a new leadership in our nation, which is keen to work closely with the states in our federation as we open a new chapter in the history of our young nation. I welcome several areas of cooperation that we have just started since the beginning of our very short administration. And I refer to some of the rescue and medifact operations that we cooperate in doing. Indeed, Vice President Balik and I have decided early on in our administration that in order to have any chance of success in leading our country for the next four years, paying a visit to the states must be an utmost priority. We will put high premium on getting to know our people, our officials, state officials and leaders, and their needs. Developing rapid and friendship with the state leadership and extending bridges of partnership and solidarity throughout our nation. In a month from now, a new leadership for our nation will be officially inaugurated. Following on the heels of the historic signing of the amended Comeback Economic Assistance Agreement between the FSM and the U.S., Vice President Palik and I are acutely aware of the tremendous responsibility placed on us to deliver well on the promises afforded to our people and our states under the 20-year terms of this new bilateral treaty. We are mindful of the challenges our people face across our federation and the pivotal role we play at this juncture in our nation's history to secure the welfare and well-being of our people. We are committed to do our best, but we cannot do it alone. We summon much that has made our nation strong and united to this day, as envisioned by our forefathers, despite the multitude of challenges that we face together. It is also of paramount importance that we utilize established domestic mechanisms for collaboration and consultation to continually update each other on new developments that warrant our collective attention and address any challenges that may be 
our progress moving forward. This is why we attach greater importance to the convening of the State National Leadership Conference, SNLC, later, later this month. Indeed, a similar public administration will endeavor to spirit a robust domestic policy that focuses first and foremost on the priority and needs and concerns of our people, our states, and our nation as a whole. We must know first our internal needs and requirements before we turn to the benevolence of our development partners and friends for support and assistance. After all, our domestic affairs are key ingredients of our foreign policy and can better inform its formulation to guide the conduct of the foreign affairs of our nation. I would be remiss not to take this opportunity to acknowledge the important role that our donor partners have been assisting our development efforts throughout our nation. In thanking them for the collective support, I want to assure them of our continued friendship and partnership, as well as our strong desire to work closely with them for our mutual benefits. I also want to take time to acknowledge the growing presence of our diplomatic community here in Pompey and the close support they provide to our nation building efforts in being a part of our communities and in this connection I thank the Pompey State leadership and its people for being a very precious host. Let me conclude by once again thanking the people and the leadership of Pompey for receiving us on this very important and historic state visit. As host of our national capital and the resident diplomatic community, our new national leadership will work closely and dialogue with you on a regular basis as we move forward together. We know you know our offices and we know yours. So we will keep in touch. May I extend an invitation to all of you to join us on July 26 as we celebrate the inauguration of a new leadership of our national government. Thank you, Kalayan Karasi. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all again give him another big round of applause. As said by the President, this should be a celebratory event. Ladies and gentlemen, Isoka, President, Governor, Vice President, Lieutenant Governor, Speakers, everyone here, the next part of our program is outside, so let us all move to the second part of our program, which is... <laughs> but before we do, do that, we ask uh, both based, both based the government staff, they have some, uh, something to offer to the president and vice president. May I ask uh, Mr. President, Governor, Vice President, Lieutenant Governor to please uh, move to the front uh, so we can exchange the presence.
Ele vai ter essa coisa. Ele vai ter essa coisa. Ele vai ter Só vão net. Eu já estava a para o Eu já Yep. 
Kaya na
Sometimes I get mine from this guy's name.
Makan lah.